As I said now, as I said, we just have change in what? We have change, change in lens. Is that proportional to the original lens and change in temperature? So this, I have said, this is a change in, in lens. That is a change in what? In lens. That is to say, this is a change in lens. Is that proportion to the original lens and change in what? In temperature. This is the proportionality constant. Now, removing the proportionality constant, therefore, change in lens is equal now to K, L, change in what? Change in temperature. This K is known as the proportionality constant. Proportionality constant. This proportionality constant is called linear expansivity. This is called, this proportionality constant is called linear expansivity. Linear expansivity. Now, the proportionality constant is called linear expansivity, and it is the one that explains the nature of the material. <laughs> Because we have seen we have three factors on which the change in lens depends on. We have said it is original lens and change in temperature, but also nature of the material. Now, nature of the material, it's the one dialect that we obtain in linear expansi expansivity, the one that determines the nature of the material. And that is why we say it is abbreviated by this letter. And therefore, change in lens is equal now to original lens times linear expansivity times change in temperature. Now, this is the formula that is used dialect tracks to obtain the change in lens. But remember, if now you are hitting a substance, this is a substance. Before it was L naught, means the lens from here up to here is L naught. It is original lens is this one. But once you apply heat here, you apply heat to the substance. It may increase from the original, from it. It was before. Now this is what it has increased. Now let's say it, this is the increase. Mean before it was L naught. That is the original lens. Before heating. Now before heating. Now the lens have increased from here up to here. This is the new lens. It is the new lens. Lens one. It is the new lens. Now, there is a lens that have increased, and that is what we are talking about. It is the lens. Before it was L0. This is L0 means it is the lens from here up to here. This is the lens from here up to here. Now, the lens that have been increased is here. This is the changing lens. The distance from here, the lens from here up to here. Once you want to get this lens, you have to take the new lens that have, you have obtained. Before the initial temperature, it was there. Then here you have increased the temperature. Now there is also increase in lens. It is where now we say change in lens is equal now to new lens that you have formed. The lens that have formed have been formed after you have increased the temperature minus the lens that was before. You got that concept? Eh? This is the lens. This is the lens that were there before. Now means the original board. This was an object before. It it was L naught. Means the lens of this substance before it was L naught. That is original lens at initial temperature. At it is initial temperature. Let's say the temperature was 20 degrees Celsius before. Then after you have applied the temperature to this substance, the length of this one is increased. Now, it was just up to here before. Now after you have applied the temperature, there is a gradual increase in length. Here it is. Means the lens have been increased. Now, and also the lens have been increased from here up to here. This is the new lens, lens one. It is a new lens. Then we have original lens here, which is from here up to here. And also we have the new lens from here up to here. Then our question is, what is the lens now what is the increase in lens that is what i've written the change in lens the lens that had been increased after you have introduced the new temperature before it was 20 degrees celsius now unless you have increased the temperature to 20 to 80 degrees celsius means there is a gradual increase in temperature 
This gradual increase in temperature, like increase in temperature, have resulted to the increase in length, and that length that have been increased, we call it change in length. That is what we are saying. Change in length is equal to original length times linear expansivity times change in temperature. But remember, change in length, it is the new length minus the original length. This is what I've written here. You got that point. Eh? Mm -hmm. Now, change in, change in length is equal to new length that you have formed after you have increased the temperature. That is the new length according to the new temperature minus the, temp the length before that was there. Are we together? Therefore, if now that is the case,